As a content creator, it's important to be able to capture and record footage from my PS5. For this purpose, Elgato provides the best products on the market, and this time I'm reviewing the new Elgato 4KX capture card. Thank you Elgato for sending me this capture card for this review. This powerful capture card will capture 4K image at 144Hz at maximum refresh rate offering the best capture features on the market. With this capture card, for example, you can capture 4K gaming at 144 frames per second and then slow it down much better than before. YouTube still doesn't support higher frame rate than 60 frames per second, so there is no other benefit for capturing a higher frames per second footage beyond better looking slowdown of that footage. Just bear in mind that this card won't be able to capture HDR image with higher than 4K 30fps recording. Above that, the footage will be recorded in SDR. The new card also supports ultra low latency VRR pass-through, so you can enjoy your console gaming without compromising the image quality while recording. Please note that this capture card will not support any 8K pass-through nor capture. At least it's not listed in the product details. My earlier capture card was the internal card Elgato 4K60 Pro MK2 which was, and still is, an excellent product for any and all 4K 60fps capture work. However, this new card no longer goes inside your PC case, but is instead placed outside of the PC case somewhere nearby, wherever you wish to place it. The connection to your PC is made with a USB-C cable, so this device requires a newer motherboard with the new USB-C port. Otherwise, you will not be able to use this capture card efficiently. So make sure you have a suitable motherboard before you buy this product. In the box you will get the capture card itself, a 2.1 HDMI cable of 2 meters or 6.5 feet and a USB-C to USB-C cable of 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet. The design of the card is very minimal and sleek, which I like a lot. Nothing extra, nothing stupid. Just the small card on the table and that's it. The card works as intended and is very easy to use. Plug in the cables between your PC, the card, your console and your TV and you are ready to play and record. After plugging all cables correctly, power up your PC, open the 4K capture utility program and start your console. Wait for the signal, click the record button and you're good to go. I've noticed the preview image of the 4K capture utility on PC has a slight input delay and a different image quality after all. So I prefer to change my TV input to the direct PS5 connection running through the card. This will offer a better image quality without any input lag or delay. After the recording is done, I change back to my PC input and stop the recording. Very simple and straightforward. This card also works with Steam Deck, Nintendo Switch and laptops, be those with Windows or Mac. You can also use it with an iPad if that is something you're looking for. Excellent flexibility and connectivity 
for many type of users and gamers. The card is currently priced at 230 US dollars or British pounds, 250 euros and 380 Australian dollars. This price seems very good for this product overall and I have no complaints about it. Well priced in the market in my opinion. If you're playing on PS5 and you wish to record your in-game chat voice, you can buy the Elgato Chatlink Pro audio cable from Elgato Web Store and plug this into the capture card's analog 3.5mm audio jack, then to your PS5 controller and finally to your analog headset. This is excellent for creators who want to record on a PS5 and still have the chat audio properly plugged and recorded. A more rare use case, sure, but having the option there is still great. Note that this will not allow you to use your wireless headset with your PS5 while recording. The recording audio needs to run through your PC to the 4K Capture Utility program in order for that captured footage to have your in-game audio recorded properly. Sony does not allow the use of two audio outputs simultaneously, which is a shame. Also, one quick tip for all console users. If you can't seem to get the image from your console through, make sure you have disabled the HDCP setting in your console. This is meant to work as a copyright technology to prevent you from recording movies and TV series via the console, so it will not affect your gaming experience. Easy to use, powerful capture card for resolutions up to 4K and frame rates up to 240 FPS with 1080p and 1440p resolutions. Very flexible usability, easily portable and low profile design, all the modern technology supported like the EDID, VRR pass-through and other bells and whistles. All of these details make this the best capture card of modern era. This capture card will easily serve 99% of all people who need a capture card for their content creation purposes. An excellent product within a good price point. I see absolutely nothing to complain about this product, so it comes highly recommended for anyone needing a 4K capture card. Thank you Elgato and thank you for watching. I hope my simple review was useful and informative. Stay safe, stay healthy. I'll see you people in the next one.